another exciting episode of Old Guy Physics. Uh, this is part three of the Atwood devices, and this might be one of the more challenging ones of the Atwood devices. Um, but it all follows the same principle. So I've got a problem up here on the board that shows an inclined plane, which has a 40 degree angle, and there's the pulley, which is, is the characteristic of those Atwood devices. And you've got a three kilogram weight hanging off the side of the incline, and you've got a five kilogram weight hang, that is sitting on the incline. Now, right away, you'd look at that possibly and say to yourself, oh, well that's gotta be acting down the incline plane. Well, that may be true, but we've gotta solve for some forces here and then through inspection, we'll see which way that it goes. So whenever you have an object on an inclined plane, the very first thing that we need to do is solve for the forces acting there. And so we have the F of G, and we have the F of X, and we have the F of Y, which is the one we're really interested in. And we're interested in the normal force, but there's no friction. And then of course, the force acting up the inclined plane would be the tension. Now, if it was being pulled up the inclined plane and there was friction, then we'd have to be putting the friction on the back side because it's trying to prevent the motion. So the tension would have to overcome the F of Y and the friction. So the friction, where, whether the friction shows up on this side or this side depends on which way the thing is moving. So let's take a quick look at this polar rectangular uh, information. You got 50 and a 40. And f of x is 38.30. That's 38.30. And I'll just leave it as 3, which gives you 38.3 here, newtons. And then f of y is 32.14. Interesting, because the force that's acting over here is only 30. So the tension on the string here, which is the same as the tension on the string here, the larger force is the one that's going to win out. And so this one's a little bit larger. So the five kilogram block is going down the inclined plane and the 30 Newton object is going up. Now, I still believe that the, the simple reminder of difference of the forces divided by the sum of the masses gives us the acceleration. So we have the difference of the two forces. Well, that's going to be 32.14 minus 30 over the sum of the masses, which is 3 plus 5, which is 8. So we've got the difference of the forces is going to be 2.14 over 8 equals the acceleration. So 2.14 divided by 8 gives us an acceleration, a very small acceleration, I might add, of 0.27, rounded to two decimal places. Now, once we've established that, then we've got, this is the smaller force, so in that simultaneous equations, we have m2g plus m to A, and this is going to be 30 plus 3 times 0.27, which is the acceleration, and 3 times 0.27 is 0.81. So the tension is 30.81 newtons. It's a little bit larger than 30 here, it's a little bit less than 32, and so we would expect this one to slide down, this one to move up ever so slowly. Does everybody see that? Okay. Well, if you have any questions, see me in class, drop me an email. But either way, that is the tougher ones. If we add friction in there, I guess it could be a little tougher. We can go over some of those ones with friction in class. But this is the last video before uh, the, the test on Tuesday. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you soon.